So this is the Sony CMT CP33MD. Um, after watching a video on the Techmon channel, I decided this was probably the uh, the ideal unit for me to pop in my office to be able to play mini discs and tapes and CDs and um, get it hooked out into my um, into my speakers. And um, it's got an input to be able to play my record player as well. Um, you know, compared to a lot of the new equipment out there for playing tapes. Um, this is really pretty high quality, uh, should last for a while. Um, should give me some pretty decent audio quality. Uh, we have a tape player uh, and recorder, a mini disc player and recorder and a CD player. And like I mentioned, it has um, an auxiliary input on the back. Um, so the, the CD player works fine, the, uh, the mini disc deck works fine, and the tape player plays but won't fast forward or rewind. Um, so first things first, we'll switch over to tape and we'll click play. And you can see this uh, cool see-through LCD panel. We'll let us see the uh, the tape running inside. Um, we can stop it, no problem. And the poor little thing will try to fast forward and then just give up. And it'll try to rewind and then just give up. And, um, you know, I, I suspect this is just uh, a, an old drive belt. Um, I, I picked up two Walkmans this week that had exactly the same fault. One's been repaired so far. Um, Sony quite helpfully have a disassembly a PDF still online available for this thing. And it looks like we can just sort of take the outer shell off, uh, remove the cassette deck, and then we should be down to a fairly straightforward belt swap, just like the Walkmans I've done this week. Um, I've not done one of these before, so we'll, we'll, I'm not 100% sure whether or not we'll get it fixed. Um, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, uh, we don't know how much I don't know how much of this audio I'll use. But, um, I'm going to record all the way through, and I'm going to talk. Uh, I might just voice over this later. We might hear bits and pieces of this, and uh, I might fast forward a lot. But um, here we go. So uh, I've never taken one of these apart before. Uh, the Sony. Uh, service manual makes this look deceptively simple. Uh, what we want to do is get this shell off and then we want to get in here to remove the, the cassette mechanism. It should just come out as a, as a single unit and once it's out we'll get it open and uh, uh, hopefully we'll be able to see the belts nice and easily um, and then we'll take it from there. So I think there's just uh, there's two screws on either side, uh, Phillips head screws, so we'll get them out. Um, I've got a magnet sheet, I uh, keep the screws in position. This is not my first rodeo. Okay, so that one's out, I could have given myself a bit more space to work. Worry about that for the next one. Okay, one. Okay, that's the side screws all out. couple on the back, maybe one, two, three, four on the back. Uh, yeah, that looks like it agrees with the service manual, so we're going to pop those out. These are smaller than um, the side screws. Feels like there are some tabs, so I'm going to. Is it? Yeah, just sort of needed some jiggling about. 
Okay, so uh, let's uh, take the camera up so we can have a look inside here. Um, oh, this lighting's terrible. Let's see if we can fix that for a moment. So, in here, this unit is the cassette desk uh, deck. Um, I, I believe it's just a couple of screws like we're here and here. Um, here, there are a couple. Uh, I'm going to refer to the service manual and just make sure I take the right ones out. But um, I'll pop these uh, ribbons off, and the unit should just come all out, and we should be able to fix it. So let's have a look. Let's see if we can get that framed well for the camera. I think that's that's pretty good. I think it's it's just the two screws. Um, theoretically, that's this one and this one. It looks like there's two more down there. Bring it down. One. Yeah, there's four. There's definitely four. So we'll get these out. In fact, we'll remove the ribbons first. I think that probably makes sense. So what type is this? All right, I'm gonna be careful because I'm not exactly sure what type of ribbon they are. One moment. It's a flat wire and a connector. Connector. Oh, yeah, they're all flat wires. So we have a connector here that we're going to take out. And I'll look it from the board. Yeah, there we are. And then we have a flat wire here, which we will gently pull out. And another one here. That will do the same. Although, to be fair, I think this one could have probably stayed in place. It looks like it's going to come out as part of the unit. Never mind. I will get these four screws out. hoping that the, uh, the tapes, the bands are going to be on the outside, they're not, they're on the inside, they're in there, I don't think we'll get a good shot of that on the camera, let's have a look, um, oh yeah, from this side you can see the big one, so this is one of the bands, this goes all the way through, there are two inside of here, I have a replacement for them both, um, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, pause here and I'm going to go and have a look at how I'm going to get into this and then we'll pick it back up. 
Okay, so it's like 15 minutes into the future. Uh, this looks like it uh, should be fairly straightforward. Um, the belts are in here, and it looks like all that's getting in the way is this uh, this board on top. Um, this ribbon that I, uh, I removed inadvertently earlier, I think we'll remove that now on purpose. Uh, the only other cable connection is this one, and it looks like we should be able to leave this in place. Sort of just take the board off to the side, and then I think we'll get good access underneath to the belts. So there are four more Phillips head screws that we want to get into. So we'll get straight into them. I say four, it looks like three. Um, so let's just take out three. One, two. Uh, this part isn't in the service manual that I noticed. Um, there's a chance I just didn't spot it, but um, it looks simple enough. So that is all the screws out. I'm going to remove this ribbon cable again. This hooks around at that side. Over and out. Nice. Okay, so um, let's see if we can get a picture of that into the. So you can see there is one belt going around here and there's another smaller belt underneath and it looks like we'll only get the smaller one with the bigger one out but let's have a look at how we're going to get the bigger one in so it took some uh the walkman took some creativity inside and i have a feeling uh, this is going to be in our way So let's have a little look. Oh, yeah, this looks like a better cable connection to take out. So I'm going to unhook this from this side just so we've got proper access. Okay, that's that board away. Okay. Just what I'm what I'm looking for are any gaps that we can uh, feed the of the band around. It doesn't look like there are any easy easy points on the back to just remove any of those legs. Where does it go? It goes around that front leg. Okay. Which is weighs down to here. Which can't be easily removed. Okay, we're gonna cut here again. I don't see the straightforward way to do this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly check around and see if I can see anybody else who's brighter than me online. And then we'll come back to this in a few minutes. Okay, so uh, we're back because uh, I figured it out. Uh, this leg at the front. Let's see if we can get this in shot. There's something thin to point at it. Uh, this leg in the front isn't actually attached to this and there's a small gap between the two so we'll be able to get the band just straight between um it's gonna it's it's, it's gonna be fiddly but um it, it should be should be totally doable so uh, let's get this started we're just gonna pop the top band off and it's just falling straight off the back which is perfect i guess and then uh, I, I, because this is the original, I could just cut this off, but uh, I'm going to use it as a. I'm just giving you a shot of my hand, really. I'm just going to use it as a way to make sure that we can get a uncut band through the gap. There's definitely a gap which will be wide enough. 
just get the band to cooperate into the right shape. This is the right angle, as it were. Okay, and it's out. So hopefully it'll be a bit more graceful without getting its replacement in. Um, but I need to get this. The small one in first. So these are the replacement bands, which I got from uh, Web Spare Parts. Uh, arrived nice and quickly, if I have any recommendations there. Um, I'll do another video when I do the next Walkman replacement. I got the uh, bands there from somewhere else and they've been really good. So I'll give them a shout out then. Um, so we have the two bands here. One small one, one big one. Um, so the little one is going around this white wheel here. And it's like there's a, like a black wheel uh, underneath. Here, a small one just underneath the larger wheel. We're gonna we're gonna get into there. So we'll uh, pop this out first. This one I think is the broken one. This one feels really loose. Uh, I think that's been the problem. So we'll get rid of that with the other one, the other old one. And so we're just looking to we'll get it around the big bit first. Probably gonna hook it on there. That's it round. I'll get it around this white bit. Get into the toolkit and find the tweezers. Yeah, so we just need to just need to pull this through. I don't want to stretch it at all. Um, or we'll end up at the same place as we started with a non-working mechanism. There we go, I've got a hold of it now. Hopefully this is enough to get it round. Okay, that is the bottom band in place. It feels a lot tighter than the last one. Um, I suspect this next one's going to be more fiddly because we're going to try and get it through where we got the other one out. Um, if I do it like this. Yeah. We have to okay, we're in. So this, if I remember correctly, goes around the white one. This is like a white connection just underneath there, which you can just about make out now in the video. It's going to go around that. It's going to go on the inside of this one and then around this one. So we'll do as before and we'll get it around the large side first. And or basically into the right direction and then we're going to get this bottom section uh, down around the white bit where we're we going to get the best shot of this these are always fairly fiddly procedures yeah the walkman was much the same that looks like we're around the white part yeah, we look like we're in place there. Let's try and wrap that around here. And then stretch it slightly up on the black here on both sides. Let's try that again and try that again. Let's 
still around the white bit though, so that's okay. Okay, that was a little bit smarter. <laughs> Straight from the top. So I make sure this is sort of even all the way around. Okay, this looks, I think this looks pretty good. So um, I guess we'll, we'll get the boards back on, we'll reassemble it most of the way and we'll see what happens. So uh, we have the connector on the inside of the board, which we need to get in first. That's back in place. some guiding uh, there's a guide pin there so that's dropped back in place we have our three gold Phillips head screws to pop back onto the, the circuit board small ribbon cable which has probably been involved more today than he than they wanted to be there we go it's it back in um, just adjust the light here because we're gonna move this back up into the main unit now so we'll bring this back over into the frame we'll see if we can adjust the camera angle a bit Excellent. Okay, so we're going to get these uh, the ribbons out of the way that it was connected to earlier. One and two. And, well, they're not going to cooperate, so we'll pull them, push them out of the way with brute force as we go. Um, that was up on the top. So we'll get it back in where its brackets are. By aligning it up with the everything below okay that's gone straight on once it was lined up without any pushing there was nothing to be pushed out of the way so uh, no force is needed there and we're going to try and get this first screw back in to keep it held in place straight back into the other side again a third hand would be wonderful here but we'll see what we can do I'm going to be trusting the magnet a little bit here be able to get along with just two hands for the rest of the build <laughs> so we just need these bottom two screws in now uh, that is not in nicely okay 
Uh, those of you with the benefits of video might have been able to see that wasn't right from the start. So let's see if we can get that back out. We'll try and line that back up. And we're going to remove those top two screws because it looks like I've pun intended screwed up a little bit. Get that out. statements this time. Let's open the front case. That probably makes a lot of sense. That looks more like it. Okay, let's get all that in place. Again, there's going to be a lot of a lot of faith put into magnets here. I think that's the bottom corner in. So I'll hold it in place. We'll go for the diagonal and get it nice and secure. This time we're in nicely, as best I can tell. This works. Oh, that doesn't sound good. What are we not lining up? Now, I've learned my lesson in the past about this sort of thing. We don't want to push that too hard because there's obviously something not quite lined up. And I see what it is inside. I guess I just need to hold that out of the way. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Open. Oh yeah, that's gonna need the motor engaged, I suspect. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll check that in a second once we've got some power to it. Get the uh, this back in cable from the top, the large one, the connector back across, and that's everything reconnected, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll give it a little bit of power, we'll see if I've missed, messed up that door a bit. May need to be open back up. No, no, not at all. That's perfect. Okay, let's see if it works as well as it did, <laughs> and then if it works any better. So hopefully we'll get rotation from the tape, and that looks good. It looks like the tape's moving. Yeah, the belt's going inside. And things look good. Stop that and let's see what wasn't working was rewind which is definitely working now all the way back and fast forward excellent so that worked <laughs> good news so uh, all that's left to do now is put the shell back on and we'll, we'll remove power again frame the right way around. So first things first we'll get the last two screws in from the tape deck now that we know that we haven't screwed up the door and 
going to have the magnets not going to play ball. Here we go. One. And then the very last one is the most awkward of the four. Down at the bottom left. They're looking good. So we'll go with this four on the back. Just do it in reverse order. Four side screws back in now, two on this side. Looks like we're good. Stop. Fast forward. Excellent. Rewind. We're going to get this hooked back up to the speakers and uh, back in place. We'll make sure that the tape still plays and uh, we'll call it a good job. Okay, we're back because uh, I guess this wouldn't be complete without proving that it still works. Uh, I'll stop it really quickly so it don't get copyright strike. Music works at the right speed. Fast forwarding works. Don't worry about the start of the tape. Works. Uh, these are the two Walkmans I bought through the week that I mentioned so far. Uh, this one has had a belt replacement. And this one, I'm waiting for the belt to arrive. And when it does, I'll open it up on video. Uh, a lot more straightforward than the one we just did and uh we'll see how we got on with that one too same fault no fast forwarding no rewinding okay so uh, i guess that's it uh, thanks for watching hopefully it's uh it's helpful for somebody out there um while you might not have this exact model the process is very similar on lots of other models uh so good luck <laughs>